Hello and welcome to this video where we will show you how to add days to a date in Excel. We will show you how to add days to a start date by including weekends or by excluding weekends and holidays. If this is the first time you're watching my video, make sure to hit the subscribe button. So first let us look at adding days to a date without while including weekends. A very simple form so here we have a start date and we want to add 10 days to it that is we want to find out 10 days from the 15th of april so we will just go here equal to we will have the start date plus the number of days and hit enter so that will give you the end date however one thing to keep in mind is the formatting there you might end up with something which looks like this if your formatting is incorrect make sure that you have it as a you have uh, you have this cell formatted as a date now we can easily drag this formula here and we can now find out it gives us easily the start uh, 10 days from each of these start dates so that was the easier example where we were looking at including weekends now if we want to find out the working days from a start date we have a duration and a start date and we want to find out the working day, end date by considering only working days so we will have to use a different form so we will be using the formula called workday so the workday formula takes in three parameters it takes in the start date it takes in the number of days and it also takes in an optional parameter called a holiday list for the purposes of this video we have created a holiday list and we are considering 22nd and 23rd of april as holidays and we have created a small holiday here so we have to find out the four working days from the 15th so let us see how we can do that so we say equal to work day start date comma the number of days we will leave out the holidays for now and see how, how it works out and we have the end date so let us quickly check if this is correct so 15th is a wednesday so we have to find out four days from it one two we will have to ignore these two days because this is these are the weekend and three and four so we expect the answer to be the 21st which is correct now let us see if we let us now quickly change this formula so that we include the holiday list parameter as well which is very easy just comma and add the holiday array or the holiday list now because we would be dragging this formula down it's a good idea to fix the reference for this list an easy way of doing that is by selecting this array and list and hitting f4 so now we can quickly drag this and we will now have the start date the number of days and the end date by excluding weekends and holidays let us quickly check one more example to see if it is correct for example let us take this one so five days from the 15th is showing up as 24th so let us check so we have 15th is here so one two if these two three four if these two as these are now as part of the holiday and five so it is now showing up as 24th is my fifth working day from my 15th and my formula has calculated it correctly now it is not only that you can calculate end days end dates from by using the work day you can also do a start date or by doing a negative days so it you can just easily find out just if you give minus one it will say one day before 15th is 14th so the work day formula can also be used to find out the start date if you have the end date and if you give a negative parameter in the days column so 
that is all for this video hope this video was useful for you do not forget to subscribe to my channel make sure that you hit the subscribe button and also click the bell icon to get notifications when i upload a new video thank you and have a wonderful day